Hello everyone. Welcome back to your GMAT preparation with Infinity Education. In our today's class, we will learn about the ADBC technique in action. Now let's see. If you see, there is a question. What is the value of A? Statement 1 is saying, if A is subtracted from 80, the result is 10. Now, if I convert this line, that is statement 1, into equation, that is, if A is subtracted from 80, the result is 10, it will look like this. A subtracted from 80, that is 80 minus A equal to 10. So, if we try to solve this one, we know this is sufficient because this is a linear equation and in this linear equation, there is only one variable. Hence, it is sufficient. So, we have learned in our previous video, if statement 1 is sufficient, we will write A, D. Now, if you see for the statement 2, if A is divided by C, then the result is 40. Now, let us try to write this into the equation. A by C equal to 40. Simple, it is insufficient. Why? Because this is also a linear equation and there is a two variable, that is A and C, which are unknown. Hence, it is insufficient. So, A should be the answer to this question. Let's see for question number two. A plus B plus C equals to 200. What is the value of A? So we can see in the same equation, there is a three unknown variable, A, B, and C. And we need to know the value of A. So we should know the value for B and C. Then only we can be able to find out the value of A. But if you look for the statement 1, that is B equal to 75, that is no particular value for C is given because I know the value of B. I don't know the value of C. Then how come I will be able to find out the value of A? Hence, it is insufficient. So if statement 1 is insufficient, B, C, E. Now, if you check for the statement 2, it is given B plus C is 140. If B plus C is 140, so if you put the value, we can have the value A equal to 60, hence sufficient. And if it is sufficient, B is the answer to the question. I hope it is clear to here. Next, if A and B are positive integer and A by B equal to 2, what is the value of A? Now, if you see for statement 1, that is, 3 lesser than B lesser than 7. But if you check for the actual question, it is given A and B are positive integer and A by B is 2. So this is the key information. A and B both have to be positive integer. Now, if you check for statement 1, there are three values of B can possible. That is 4, 5 and 6. So, based on the different values of B, we can have different values of A. Like, if we put B equal to 4, A equal to 8. If you put B equal to 5, A equal to 10. And if you put B equal to 6, A equal to 12. So, we are getting three different values of A. Hence, it is insufficient. If statement 1 is insufficient, I should write B, C, E. Now, if you look for statement 2, that is B is odd. Now, if B is odd, that means B can be anything 3, 5. Now, based on that, the values of A can be different. Now, as we are getting different values of A, so again it is insufficient. Now, when it is insufficient, statement alone, we will eliminate B. And now, we should try them together or we will merge the both the statement. The moment we are merging them, so keeping both the condition, 3 lesser than B lesser than 7, and B is odd, 
we are getting only one value for b which is 5 because b have to be positive integer b is in between 3 and 7 and b is a odd so only one value for b which is 5 hence we are getting a equal to 10 so it is sufficient the moment together they are sufficient c should be the answer to the question i hope a b c are clear now let's see for another one question is saying if a by 2 be equal to c what is the value of a now if you look at the question carefully it is said a by 2 be equal to c so again two unknown if we want to find out the a i should have the value for b and c both now if you check for the state one it is saying b equal to 40 if b equal to bc equal to 40 then we are getting a equal to 2 into 40 which is 80 hence it is sufficient so statement one is sufficient that means ad now if you check for statement two that is b equal to 8 and c equal to 5 now if you put it over there it will give you again a equal to 80 hence it is also sufficient so when one and two individually they are sufficient we will consider D as an answer to the question. Let's see another one. Question is saying, what is the value of A? Statement 1 is saying, A plus B equal to 40. But if you look carefully, A plus B is 40. I don't know the value for B. Hence, it is insufficient. Because no particular value for B is given. So, if it is insufficient, b c e now if you look for statement 2 that is c minus 3a equal to 85 again no particular value of c is given. hence it is insufficient eliminate b now when we have eliminated both statement 1 and 2 individually we will check them together when we are checking them together we can see there is two linear equation but there is a three unknown variable so just one learning point to solve a number of variables we need in different equation so if we want to have three unknown variable that is a b and c we should have three different equations which is not available here hence it is also insufficient so if it is insufficient, eliminate C and E is the answer to the question. So this is how we can do the ADBC technique in action. I hope your doubts are clear. Still, if you do have any doubt, you can post your doubt in the comment section. Thank you, everyone. Happy learning.